Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're taking a look at iOS 11.3 beta 2. It was just released for developers today. Let's go ahead and get started. So thanks to my complete fail on my other upload on iOS 11.3 beta 2, I completely forgot the biggest feature in this update, which is the new battery health section inside settings on iOS 11.3 beta 2. Thanks to a comment on that other video, I quickly deleted it and I'm gonna make this video instead and upload it. I really apologize guys, I forgot uh, completely about this feature that Apple was gonna add. So we have this new battery health beta section here in uh, battery settings in iOS 11.3 beta 2. And this is because uh, of that battery fiasco that Apple was having where they were down throttling iPhones because the health of some iPhone batteries uh, were not uh, you know, at their peak performance. And here under my battery, it says maximum capacity 100%, so that's good. And uh, peak performance capacity, uh, it doesn't really look like there's anything wrong with my battery. I'm guessing if there was uh, anything wrong with someone's battery, they would put this here. I'm guessing this is more useful if you're running iOS 11.3 on a phone like the iPhone uh, 5S or the iPhone 6, which are the phones that were having the biggest issues. Of course, on a brand new iPhone 8 Plus like mine, it's not gonna show anything. Uh, I guess it is really good that it shows the maximum capacity of your battery because as you may know, uh, the chemicals inside the battery as they get older are unable to hold the charge as much. So older iPhones may only be able to hold like 80% of a charge or 70%. And that's why some of the older iPhones were just dying as soon as they hit 30%. And that is what led to Apple down throttling the batteries and then that whole fiasco uh, kind of snowballed from there. And that is what led to this uh, battery health section in iOS 11.3 beta 2. So if you have 11.3 uh, on your phone, you can check uh, the battery health of your iPhone. Just keep in mind it is in beta. So the performance tests and uh, you know some of the analytics that Apple runs for your battery may improve as the beta uh, progresses on uh, before a public release in the spring. Other than that guys, 11.3 uh, beta 2 is a pretty small update. I think Apple focused definitely on the battery health section. But other than that, there isn't really anything new. I did read the release notes. They said a few things like uh, the iPod Touch 6 will not support 11.3 uh, beta 2. So I guess you'll have to wait for beta 3. A few things like when you have a, a Safari app on your home screen, uh, there's a fix with the camera app and uh, there are some compatibility issues. I think another thing like the Skype application after updating to beta 3, uh, beta 2 rather, will now work because before the Skype application would crash after you sign in. Uh, other than that, performance seems okay. You can see here the animations are really smooth. The 3D touch is uh, really smooth now. They fixed that a while back. Um, it, pre it seems pretty, uh, pretty smooth to me. Uh, basic performance on beta 1 was okay, and it seems like it's uh, you know, being sustained across beta 2. Uh, hopefully, if it, gets, it gets a little more stable after uh, a few more betas, because Apple still has over 40 more days to perfect this release, because it is coming out in the spring. So uh, anyway, tell me in the comments what you think of this. Drop a like on this video. My name is Mike, and I'll see you in the next one. Survive.